What's up everybody? Um, today I want to show you guys my new DIY CO2 that I set up and um, explain it a little to you guys. So if you can see on the left, the filter has some bubbles on it and that's because my CO2 is bubbling out of there. And I'll go into detail about that in a little bit. But here's the reactor. Um, two cup or half cup of sugar one eighth teaspoon of uh, yeast and that's how you get your CO2 got a lot of bubbles right there really good output on it um, and it took about 20 minutes to start bubbling which is pretty good um, kinda fast and then so this black tube takes it out of there and it's glued on the inside so don't so it doesn't leak um, and the tube goes into the bubble counter is about half full of water the water or the the CO2 comes down here bubbles up, pops, goes up into this clear silicone tube I have here which only goes out to about here and then stops. This collects the CO2 goes down into the tank and gets dispersed by this um, air stone here and then what this does is bubble up into the filter and if you can see most of the CO2 there's, there's more CO2 here than there is up here because most of it gets caught in the, um, the filter and then gets shot out. Um, you can probably see all the bubbles going by um, and gets dispersed to the tank. So uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's not, I, I don't know, I could make it better obviously, but um, it's just something I whipped up real quick. And yeah, so I hope I showed you a little bit about it. Um, I have from my last tank my uh, glass diffuser, which has this grill and there's still BBA or black beard algae on it that's how bad it was but yeah this is a lot better than the airstone but my um, uh, suction cup is on the airstone for the 10 gallon and I don't have another one so I can't use it but this is also a pain in the ass because you need a lot a lot of pressure this man it's this is meant for uh, like CO2 tanks not DIY so you need a lot of pressure to actually get any bubbles out and it's just a pain to deal with so the air stone it's really easy and that's why I chose to use it so yeah it's pretty effective I would say um, it hasn't been on the tank long enough to see any purling going on but I'm sure in the next couple days I'll see some the plants have been growing real nice um, yeah so oh, I'll talk a little bit about okay so in my last tank, my 10 gallon, you're probably wondering why I'm doing CO2 and I said I would never do it again and that's because I got black beard algae in that tank and it's really bad algae hard to um, get rid of and it feeds off of inconsistent CO2 levels um, and the reason that happened or why I got it is because I had my CO2 running for like three weeks or so then the mix would run out and then I would not put any back in the tank for like another week and that is just asking for BBA and um, with this I'm, I'm gonna have it a lot more consistent once the mix runs out I'm gonna get a new one right back on quick um, and not wait so and I know how to treat the BBA if I get um, if I get any so yeah just a little uh, addition to the tank and it should speed up plant growth and make it a lot denser than it already is and yeah hope you guys like the video I might do like an informational video on how to make it later on not like with the mix but when I have to make a new one maybe I don't know we'll see so yeah hope I showed you a little bit about how to diffuse it and stuff like that and gave some tips hope you like it later